Hey YouTube, this is Bar Double R here. Uh, I've got to apologize to you. Um, so the other day, there's there's two good times to go airhead hunting after a big rain or after it's been dry for a while and then a lot of wind. And it had been dry for a little while and a lot of wind came up and we went airhead hunting. And I'd planned on filming and stuff and I found almost perfect arrowhead and I got so excited. I lost my mind, didn't even whip it, I didn't even think about the camera, sorry guys, and just picked it up. It was just laying right on top of some sand, so it wasn't anything spectacular other than it was just a, almost a perfect point. It's got one little new nick in it, and I'll show you a picture here in just a second of that. Um, anyway, very sorry, I'll try to keep my mind the next time I find an awesome arrowhead. Anyway, today we are going to... We're going to get some cactus out of the field, and I'm sure I don't like spraying chemicals and stuff any more than I have to. I do use Remedy uh, for mesquites, but I don't like to use it really. Uh, I don't like to use poison if I don't have to. And there's not a whole lot out here in this field, but there is enough that I want to do something about it. And one of the best ways, and you'll see, uh, my brother showed me this way, and it works really well, is a pitchfork. And uh, anyway, you're about to see... a you know, I know you probably woke up this morning and was like, you know, sure wish I knew how to how to remove cactus prickly pear without, you know, chemicals and, and efficiently. Well, you're welcome. You're about to find out. So I'm going to set you up here and I'm going to get my pitchfork and we'll see what we can get going here. Alright. And just maybe... Get you closer where you can see what I'm doing. Hank, back up. Hank, go. Go. And I like to use a, I use a feed sack to put them in and get rid of them. And all you do is you just slide this up under there, pry up, and it comes up. Real big chunk, I'll put it in a, a bucket or something. And then go put it in on a burn pile. But if it's small, I try to put them in feed sacks and get rid of them that way. Anyway, just kind of slide under there and just pull up. And a lot of times you'll get most of it, if not all the, or you'll get most of the root. And, uh, Anyway, most of the root, if not all of it, and, and enough of it, it doesn't really come. I haven't, I haven't had a problem with them coming back. Doesn't mean they won't come back. It just means I haven't had a real bad issue. Roots and everything. Anyway, I'm going to show you a few of these and then I'm going to turn you off. There's just so many ways you can peel up a cactus and it'd be interesting. In fact, you maybe have already turned it off. <laughs> and that's okay if you did. Let's see here.
All right, YouTube. That's that's about the gist of it. Uh, I got a bigger one over here that if I get to that tonight, I'll show you that you can use a shovel to basically chop it in pieces and then use the pitchfork to load it up and it makes it easy too without you getting thorns all in you. So anyway, I'll get back at you. Please like and subscribe. Uh, appreciate all the support I'm getting. And uh, hopefully, I, I'm gonna show just this one arrowhead on this video. And there's gonna be a future video where I go sh go through my collection that I found out here and show just the unique ones. I mean, I've got a few perfect ones. A lot of brokes, but then I have some unique items that are kind of, I don't know, just kind of different. And uh, I'll show them. But uh, anyway, that'll be a future video. So anyway, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much, and I'll get back at you. Good morning, YouTube. This is Bardo Blar here. We are moving the baby goats down to the other pen, and I'm trying to. Gus is just being a Hank's just being a bully. Can't. Here comes a puppy. We're moving them down to the other pen and we're gonna be feeding them down here from now on. <laughs> the goat shuffle. Anyway, we're gonna get them down here, get them set up, and I'll get back at you. <laughs> Look at that, that's funny. <laughs> she just doesn't know what to think. Yep. Hank! Hank's always in trouble. <laughs> Is the cartwood? No. <clears throat> 